if they can stand up. The Blues. Here's Wind. Uh, to Cameron. To centre half for Coleman. Good stretch. Quill. Let's see if he can kick a foot. He should go. Straightens up. Drop punt. Goes bang and puts it through. Bulldogs very impressive so far. Tommy Alvin has had those long lots, locks cut. I just think it's in his jumper, the ponytail in the jumper, Peter. Oh, Peter Dean now eventually. This is Delilio racing into goal from 45 metres. Chips it in, and that's a good goal. Wine pushed out by Man Liberatore. Brilliant. Coleman. Grant. Still Grant. Left hand handball of beauty. Crediot goes it and kicks it. Delilio to take okay, it from uh, okay. between centre wing and half forward. Delilio looking for Dorotic. Good mark. Actually, it's good, good to get find Dorotic because there was three Carlton uh, Footscray fellows down there. Wine was dropping in, as was, I think it's Foss down there, or Foster. Oh, there's that kick into the hole. Oh, free, free kick, kick. to Footscray should have been. Kick by Gleeson. Goal. Hawkins about to come back on, and he's wearing, I think, number 49. Yes, 49, Doug Hawkins. Bad kick by Alvin. Frost goes for goal, goes for goal, and kicks it. Tudor Fides has had a very good quarter on Chris Grant. 15 seconds remaining. Heaver. And the Blues get a goal in the last six seconds. Still Heaver. No free kick. The siren about to go. Gleeson's left foot. Wrestling match in the goal square. Dorothy. Dorothy. Well, we've got it as, uh, as the siren going a couple of seconds ago. But Dorothy has taken the mark. The siren didn't sound, but our clock had gone down to 0-0. Zero, zero. Our clock is aligned with the official timekeepers, isn't it, Bruce? Well, that's what I thought. But uh, it's uh, definitely the clock had gone to 0-0 zero, yeah. zero, where we were looking. By about three or four seconds, I'd say. Well, luckily, Footscray players and supporters don't know that at the moment. As Dorotic to put the Blues level. Lines them up, drop punt, and goals. Scores a level at three-quarter time. Royal's centering kick was a good option. Delray used his body cleverly. Hawkins normally very good kicks a goal. The captain's done it. Oliver on the left foot. Oh, beautiful kick. Low trajectory drop punt right down towards the forwards. Here's Dorotic. Around the corner goes John Dorotic for a great goal. Here's Quill, who had eight touches in the first quarter and has been quiet since. Stops, waits, props, goes short, finds Crediot. They set it up again to Cameron. Cameron goes for goal with a long one. It's going to be close. It's a goal. The doggies are in front again. It's been a terrific contest, and the dogs have done it, and they've won it. There's a siren. Now, oh, great attempt there by Williams, but the ball rebounds to Tingay. Best man on the ground in the first ten minutes. Good kick, Djakovic! So oh, he's a chance to kick here from about 55 metres. Melbourne with a handy lead. Djakovic with two goals. Richardson goes forward for uh, Collingwood. Houlihan round the body. Great kick. Is it through? Bouncing it is. Hopefully September as far as Melbourne's concerned. Tingay attacks the goal front. Needs good fly. Lovely mark. From 35 metres out. Good looking kick. It's through. Scores a level. Bit like a game of chess for Melbourne now. They've got this big attack coming up and they've got to make the most of it. Lovell had to sit and wait. Schwartz, two points of difference. Left foot, here's a go. Yes, Phoebe. Big moment for Phoebe. Drop punt. He's put it through. The Demons in front. Tigers did beat the Swans in the last round of the competition last year to avoid the wooden spoon and relegate the Swans to that position. Here go the Tigers again. On the run is Herneman, who covered ground from that boundary throw in, out in front of Jackson. Considine climbs into him, gives away the free. Jackson goes on with it and kicks his fourth for the quarter. 
19-13 to 8-7. They're going forward again. Campbell, Herneman, the dasher is Naish, and Naish bangs it through for another one. They see Camp loses it to Riccardi. They need a couple of quick goals. Geelong to put pressure on Fitzroy. That's Bearstow down towards Brownless. He goes to ground. There's Alistair Lynch. Smothered away from him. Chance for Neald. Over his head, Mark Neald. Oh, that's a good goal. Now, that's better play. Up now, Jimmy Wine, is someone going to lead this time? Yes, Satori leads. Thumped away, still going Satori. Barrett. And Dunstan's there also. A quick hand pass. Here's a chance. Jimmy Wine on the left foot. Brings it in towards goal and he puts it through. Bites the cherry. Now he's scouting the pack, but Lamb is there. On to Djakovic. Djakovic a wobbly kick. Now there were two Saints here on the bounce play with Matera. Great play, Peter Matera. In the Sumic. Sumic waits at the back. He should be out of goal here, Peter Sumic. He kicks and he puts it through for a goal. Crashing in there is Ralph Smith. Dragged to ground. Vitovic. Hefty swing. Moved at about 10 metres. Against the flow, Matera. Goal, Matera. Allison's kick was a little disappointing in the finish. Smart, loves dashing. So does this man, Maynard. Now Tregenza. On to McDermott. McDermott shot from 45 metres is a goal. He can chip away again. No, he's going in towards centre half forward. Jarman runs on, and Andrew Jarman gets into the goal kicking action and boots it through. Landia receiving from Ridley. Now out wide is Hills, so danger here for Brisbane. Hills, good shepherding behind by Buick. Hills can run right down and have a shot here. Good play, Hills. He steadies, kicks, and kicks a great goal. Two and a half minutes to go to half time. Here's McLean on the left boot. Up to the goal square. Oh, over the head of Murphy. Was it could touch? be a goal. Goal to McLean. Drop punt to centre half forward. Ayers gets back, can't hold it. Jackson's pressure was excellent. Gives it away to McQueen. Deep in the pocket. Kicks a goal. Platten's there. He races in after. Goes inside with a hand pass to Gowers. Gowers chips it in towards half forward. And here's Paul Deere. Gives it back to Gowers. This is uh, the Hawthorne we know towards half forward. And the mark has been taken by Hudson. Now, is that 50? No. Play on as it comes to Hall. Hall into Dunstall. Great mark, Dunstall up in front. Jason Dunstall from directly in front. It's close. I think it's a goal, all right. It is. To number 21 for Richmond, that was Bullis. Eventually, it's Ian Herman to the half forward line. That's a very good mark. Just come onto the ground, Todd, Todd Bremen. Bremen. He's a beautiful kick, too. Towards the half forward line. One on one contest. And that's a terrific mark by Turner at the back. He's got an open goal. He kicks it. Racing back is Hogg and Langford. Free kick to Hogg. Oh, the pain. Is that a goal anyway, I think? Yes. Paul Deere from 40 metres. High left foot. Misses it. Jarman trying to get back. Bounces. Waits. He's pretty clever normally. You oh. back him. Goal. <laughs> New really struggling just for uh, rhythm here. Caught out a couple of times. I'm amazed he's been left there actually on Jackson. He's had a wonderful career. But, uh, injuries have dogged him in the last three or four years. Herman caught. Got a handball away. It was effective to Lambert. Chance now for Herneman to go for a goal. Oh, he's given it a ride. I think he's goal. Right through the middle, it went. It is. Straight through the middle and maybe shut the gate with it at 13 goals to eight. Training by five and a half goals. Schaefer clearly. Mew was able to carry it forward. Petura swings it wide. Unlucky Herneman got a bad bounce. Jinky has been uh, pretty quiet. Must have been on the interchange for a while. Allen caught. The tackling's been quite wonderful. Bremen to Maxfield and again Richmond go forward they've got numbers if they can get a break here they're in they should finish it off and goal bang
Well, that should do it. Bremen. Platten's tackle. Bremen, Langford and Holt. Nash, Collins, Taylor attacks it. Nash holds him up. Herman can get the handball over. Had Schaefer loose. Goes for goal. A chance. Well, it'll be one now. Herman takes the mark. And in the last 30 seconds of this third quarter, that should be enough to go. Two to Herneman and the Richmond have, well, they've responded like a good team. They've been challenged. Hodges, tackled by Manton. Jarman, look at this intelligent little kick. It's a goal. Grenvold again, couldn't get the hand pass clear. Oller and Shaw goes back to Hills, Thompson. Long, dashing away from his opposition and takes the mark just outside centre half forward. Too far out to score, Michael Long. He has height with Salmon near the goal square. In that direction, he works to the front and takes the mark. Salmon for his third goal. Goal umpire moves, but he sneaks it home. Jamison loses it in the tackle. Grabbed by Masiti. Up to the goal square and Salmon. He's got it again. Bombers lead by six points. After the Crows dominated early and led five goals to one. Salmon, six goals straight. Back he goes to Danaher. Danaher's kick is all right to the 50. Well, oh, Brown, you weren't watching the ball, gives away the free kick. Philandia. Philandia off the right boot and just gets it home. And that's gone on to the half-back line now for Adelaide. Michael Long won the hit out. Thompson slides the hand pass away. Here we go again. Mercury beats a man inside 50, goes for the goal, a mercurial goal. Foster, Dundas looking for a free kick, Baldwin, pretty quick hand pass, out it comes to guard, the hand pass coming from Dunstan, and I think he's put that through, he has, it's a goal. Croft, Cameron, this is better, Coleman, that great mark late in the second quarter, the marks of the day, Grant of course taking a specking in the first quarter, probably has the honour so far, good shepherd by Atkins. Let's him back in, and Danny Delray. Then he kick his fourth, 35 metres out, slight angle, goes for goal and gets it. So Footscray off to a great start in the third quarter. Kellett tries to tap the ball to his team's advantage, but Armstrong gets there first. Armstrong going straight down the ground, and McCarthy, strong hands in front of the body. Still inside the centre square, kicks up towards Ruse. But haven't seen too much of him today. Fifth kick coming up for Paul Ruse. Don't go over. Stay there. Stay there. Really a productive afternoon Thank you. so far. Good kick. Good long kick. He's got his second goal. He's made the most of them. Lovell from Pike. Matera from Norrish. Goes long. That looks pretty good. It could be the Eagles' second goal. And it is. Lamb out of the centre. Up to half forward, McIntosh with Pike. And Ashley McIntosh showing us his speed. Chips that one in short, goes for goal and gets it. So the Eagles running away now. Herman, straight down the ground, looking for Francis. Knocked away from him that time. Take though by uh, Richmond and Knights. Knights to fall forward. Hulk sets himself and takes it. Very good kick coming in. Gave Hogg every chance. Drop punt for goal. And Richmond away to a fly. Here's Jim Wine shuffling it out of the pack. Eventually the kick comes down towards half forward for Fitzroy. Here's Todd Bremen and Tony Free. He's dragged off the ball. Advantage might be paid here. It is to Howitt. Now on to Lambert. Lambert very wide there. It can go off and running now. This is Schaefer. Schaefer the long kick. That's the way to play it. Right down towards Hogg. A great mark. 
picture of concentration. Jeff Hoggles, he comes in from 30 metres and no doubt about it, it's a goal. Knights doesn't look fully fit, does he? At half forward at the moment, he just looks uh, out of it. A kick by Dunstan. Satori setting himself. Howard from the side. Handball by Cave and Armstrong to kick the goal. Left foot straightens up, goes bang, a beauty. What exquisite timing. A marvellous finish for Fitzroy. Richmond had ripped the ascendancy away from him in that quarter. And that's really burying it, isn't it? How hard the Tigers work and the Lions were able to take it away from them. The umpire's called play on. his Knights. Oh, great hand pass to Todd Bremen on the left foot. Oh, goal. Top goal. Oh, oh no, it's a free kick. No. Oh, goal. No. Oh, shocking handball. Lees straight into uh, Armstrong. Schaefer gets it back. Oh. Bit lucky. Free. Had he been able to let it go, would have gone off. Well, Richmond, here's a chance. Wonderful hip and shoulder. Nash goes bang to hog. Bouncing, still bouncing. Turner off the ground, and he kicks a goal. And listen to that tiger roar. Wasn't that clever by Campbell, because uh, Guard was under pressure to control it. Goes towards the goal square. Satori, oh, see, oh. a beauty. A fly at the back. But he is closer. Maxfield to come off for Herman. Seacamp to put the lines within a goal with a drop punch straight through. Armstrong, two ruse. He's way up at centre wing. He trapped it all right. Oh, the handball was good. Johnston's had some touches. Goes for Lynch, gets him. Where's he playing, Don? In the, In the ruck. Lynch at 50 metres. And he's a thumping kick. Could he kick it? Could he kick a captain's goal? Oh. Bang! Leans back, goes, oh. kicks it. Oh. Scores a level. It was a Dacos goal. 55 seconds. It's now at Fitzroy's end of the ground. Even a point would probably win it. Lynch taps it down. Hool in up with it. Fleming grabs it. Tries to shuffle it out. The Richmond rebound through Barry Young. 43 seconds left. Oh, bounce. Favours Nash. Nash in the full forward. And Metagola has marked. He was behind, boy. Goal. He was behind, Peter. He he wasn't shoulder to shoulder, he wasn't with his man. Menegola will kick from 30 metres, a pressure kick. Okay. Even if he kicks the goal, it's still not over. Todd Menegola kicks and goals. Six points. The Tigers lead in this magnificent game. Obviously, Kevin Sheedy giving Todd Ridley a job. Kilpatrick mm. leaves it behind. Oh, great chance here. Turley straightens up and puts it through quite simply. Warm and humid in Melbourne tonight. And they'll certainly earn their money. Long roves it superbly, kicks it goal and gets it. Mercury caught with the football. Somehow it rebounds to Grenville. His kick to full forward. Nearly taken by White. Not enough talk there between he and McIntosh. Taken back by Alessio. Handball Salmon. Oh. Then Salmon, if it's a clear kick off the foot, it's OK. It is a goal. Too far out to score. Kick and a half from goal. Kicks up towards Salmon. Excellent mark, Paul Salmon. And he gets trouble. one. He's in trouble. Shoulder. Oh, gee, I hope that's not serious. Come on, Jared. What is it? The, which joint is it? Well, I'll go for the AC joint. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Robo, because he fell right on the point. Uh, but on that occasion, I would have liked to see Turnbull jump in his path on this occasion. He might be all right. He could have made the ground. Here's Salmon going for the mark, takes it on his hands. And there's Turnbull. Could have made ground and got in front of him. Watch the hand go down. Bang. And there's the point of the shoulder hitting direct. Danaher. Great handball. Wanganin again. A quick kick, and he had to be quick. Buick. Rose it beautifully. Pike in pursuit. He's kicked one goal from a long way out. Will that be two? A magnificent goal! Boundary umpire throws it in in the right forward pocket. Alessio in front. Chance for Ridley. Goal. He's kicked the goal. And Michael Malthouse is going to have to work 
a magical trick here and pull something out of the bag if the Eagles are to get out of this game. 6-6 six, six to 11-5. Well, we'll see them again in a couple of weeks, Robbo. These two teams actually clash in the first AFL round. Matera's kick, that's a goal. Put it through. Dedham kicks to 50. And that will be another free kick to Essendon because it was in the back. Well, good to see Somerville going for the football with his hands outstretched. That's what caused the free kick because McIntosh had no other option but to lay the arm across the shoulder of Somerville. Perhaps he could have belted him at the elbow, breaking the hand. Is it going? Now, how long being held? It's long against uh, West Coast. It's uh, Connell, is it? Back there. Long made a lead. I was watching him, actually. So Michael Long. He's one of Essendon's many goal kickers. Yep. A chance for his second, which he gets. the chance for the Tigers. Turner is 41. Through went Denham. Lambert did pretty well. He's been a star in this series. Shot for goal here by Campbell. He's good. What a goal. Denham's kick not bad under pressure. It hits the floor. Oh, down goes Mercury. Herman. Hurd has been terrific. Knocked forward by Ridley to Long. Long only 25 metres out. Puts it wide for Buick. He hooks back and kicks a great goal. Thanks, Baz. Up to centre half forward. Oh, roving by Long. He puts the hand pass up for, for uh, Hurd. Off the ground goes Hurd and kicks a goal. Two misses from set shots, but he kicked a soccer. And the Bombers are 4-2 to 1-1. Campbell. Oh, just off in a little bit of trouble. No, he's able to collect the footy. And kicks it in towards centre-half forward. No mark taken. Off the ground, Thompson rebounds. Here's a chance for Jackson. Ever casual, but he does it well. On to Turner. Naish, the goal sneak. Naish gets the goal. Gets it across to Gary O'Donnell. O'Donnell to the half forward line. Danger here for the Tigers as James Hurd races after it. Ridley was there. Now the speedy Buick. Buick goes inside to Hurd. Hurd races it into what? Goal for his second. And James Hurd has goal. Herneman. O'Donnell. Taps it out wide. Thompson can't take it. Ball just scooped out from oh. underneath him. That was brilliantly done. Oh. Kick up towards half forward for Richmond in the mark. Taken by Nash. Gee, that ground slippery. Campbell again. Palms out the hand pass. Here's a Tiger chart. Campbell gets it back. Goes Goldwood one on one down in the square. And the back hole. And goes. Hog second. Centre of the ground. Wanganeen. Couple of touches in the last minute. He'd been quiet for the first six or so minutes of this term. After a brilliant first half. Mercury. Terrific pick up. Back to Long. Pops it up pretty high. Oh! Ooh, down goes free. Buick grabs it off to Kranzberg, and he bounces it through. Goal to Kranzberg. Two goals to Peter Kranzberg, and it looks a bit of a break now for the Bombers. There's yes, quite a gap opening up now. Very, very well balanced. Bremen, short kick, Waitman, good gather. Off to Turner. Turner's kick, marked by Herneman. Now the Tigers, if they're to have any chance in this game, Herneman must kick this goal. Seven and three-quarter minutes left in the third quarter as Jackson prepares to come back onto the playing arena. arena. Wayne Herneman. He's kicked one. Beautiful kick in the second quarter. That's not bad either. He's kicked two. the margin is under five goals and with still two and a half minutes to go to three-quarter time Richmond could get a couple might be very handy Manigola did well to stretch the hamstrings and get to that one Todd Manigola ex-West Australian they kicked pretty well he has kicked well 
boy, they need something to happen quickly. Young kicks up to the edge of the square. Big pack of players, and they all misjudge that. I don't yeah, think it was being held. Fast. Advantage Richmond's way. Yes, going Knights. And Knights could kick this one. Going pretty close. I think he's put it through. He has. That's what they wanted. The Tigers roar again. Well, free kick, I'm not quite sure. I agree with the pushing and shoving you mentioned, Pete. There was plenty there. 14 and three quarter minutes left in this match. Big punch away from Harvey. Back up towards the edge of the square. O'Donnell overruns it. Denham's tackle and Lambert ineffective. The Richmond star gets the hand pass out to Naish. Too far out to score. Runs through centre wing. Naish long raking kick up inside 50. Herneman. Mark, no. No mark and no free kick. Wakeman, was he leg? He started on the bench. Farms out a hand pass. Two of them could take it. Campbell kicks it. Goal and gets it. Here's Campbell. Good play. Bauer sprints clear. 40 metres from goal. And Nathan Bauer has kicked it across his body and through for a behind. Waitman will he gather it just inside the boundary line? He does. Beautifully done by the Tiger veteran. Oh, superb. The skills are still there. Campbell, can he kick a goal? 65 metres out. Goes goal. And has kicked only a behind. Gee, there's a what? long kicks at goal tonight. Wasn't that well done by Dale White? And that was just fantastic stuff. Yeah. He's been brilliant tonight. He's kicked four goals, five. Marking contest. Oh, Derek kick it at the back. This could be the sealer. Kicks at goal. Essendon will win. Paul Hill. But, oh, he's kicked into the man. Buick backed up beautifully, Darren Buick. A bounce. He races. Oh, he breaks the tackle. He bounces again. Terrific play by Buick. On the herd, can he kick his fifth goal? He steadies. And James Hurd has slammed it through for goal number five. The Bombers are home. Siren just about imminent. Schaefer, there it is. Taps down. And Essendon has won the Foster's Cup for 1993. Defeating Richmond 14-18, 102, the Tigers 11-13, 79. Maybe mixed feelings for Kevin Sheedy against his old team. He played 251 games for the Tigers, but of course with Essendon, he's now won his fourth night premiership and a thoroughly deserved one tonight against a team. I'm sure Pete is going to be one of the real... After the game, we caught up with all of the celebrations. to uh, say thank you to the club we really developed a lot of young players and they're going to be great for our future and last of all I'd like to thank all you Essendon supporters we've got one more to add to the collection Started to get a bit nervous in our last quarter when Richmond got, you know, fairly close to us. But to the boys' credit, you know, they fought it right out, and uh, you now we come out on top. Gavin played well, I thought, and Mark Thompson. Uh, we've got a lot, a lot of room for improvement, which uh, the few guys that came in. So you know, we'll be looking forward to next week. So yeah, very good wins. There's real good wins for the boys, you know. Got a good start to the season, you know. It's been very good wins tonight.